Hi everyone, Soul Super 17 here. I know it's been like maybe a month, but I'm just gonna say this schoolwork laziness. And plus, I'm kind of working weird hours and a lot of stuff's going at work, but eh. I mean, that's all I can say. I mean, <laughs> um, I've also been kind of reading solo leveling here and there, and I've been trying to catch up and think of where I want to go in this part of the what if. For this, you know. Asta Dragon Slayer. Um, I kind of know so far where I'm at. And I know I gave him basically a Dragon Force anti magic dragon looking transformation. And I also gave him, you know, basically lightning magic, but God Slayer, I think it was. And it's red. Kind of works with the whole entire. Um, you know, anti-magic thing going on, so, also, kind of was playing Monster Hunter Rise, and whatever games else, so, I do have some time to make, maybe, this video, and another video, um, tomorrow, maybe, or Thursday, so, I've been trying to figure out a way I have to make this part anyways. But the last time I tried to do that, I just wasted so much time. Um, by that I mean, I just made it like all just canon stuff. Nothing really much changed and I was tired so everything wasn't really working in my head right. <laughs> so... <sighs> I'm gonna be making this a whole entire different thing, just to keep the same events, but different way. So, yeah, I'm gonna try and make this just this part all different. Okay, so um, this is what if Asta had I think Dragon Slayer magic, part whatever. <laughs> um, I only think I can do two more parts and then I'm done with this for now. Because I'm going to probably do just make season two of this. And then that's it. And then, yeah. So yeah, this is in, in the next part, hopefully. Um, maybe. Maybe three. I think three... Two or three, I mean, two more or just one more part is good. Okay, anyway, so, last time we left off is Asta and you know did technically, was defeated by Let and Asta did lose his Demon Dweller sword. So, now, after this whole entire fight, we do, be, you know, they did save, you know, no, well, and Mimosa. No, it was just Mimosa, I believe. I didn't watch the episode, so, that much. Yeah, it was Mimosa. So, we basically have them come out of the water. As Asa goes like, <coughs> okay, I, I really am <sighs> tired. Of <coughs> magical beams, which you know does say just just one word agreed. So as they you know are walking out of the lake, Mimosa, you know is also she was and she was going like this. Okay, that was uh, that looked tougher than it was. And Asta, you know, just say, you have no idea. Now, we do have the captain of the Silver Eagles. And, you know, coming along along with, basically, Noel. As Noel goes like, wait, what happened to you guys? And Asta, and you know, just says, one word, leader. I mean, which, the Silver... Eagle's captain is looking at them and basically asks explanation or explain. And he, Asa just goes like, well, if 
for some very reason, this, I don't know, one of the Midnight Sun lead guy, or the leader, we think, basically just came in, saved two of his members after we defeated them, and then proceeded to, well, take one of my sword, I mean, had one of my, well, one sword in his hand, not my sword, but he did take one of my swords, though, and, well, <laughs> I took the, that sword. So, and we also protected Mimosa. Oh, and, well. Uh, as recently as Asta was going to point to the big giant castle that was that was made of rock floating up in the air. As they see it moving. As Asta's just like. Uh, did, did anyone know it can move? Which they all just look at him and shake no. <laughs> he was like, okay, so I'm not crazy on that one. So. Basically, the Silver Dawn, I mean not Silver Dawn, Silver Eagles happening. Basically, does take out a magical item and throws it down towards them. And basically, the same thing happens like there, just like, you know, a big giant, like, magical circle, a magical item that's healing them happens and such. And technically, from this point, it does go on from there exactly the same way. You know, them traveling with, you know, this mimosa, you know, and, you know, Noelle and her brother, basically, who's the Silver, Silver Eagles captain, are going to pass Hodge Village. As, well, basically, Asta technically can't sense magic, but they do see something's happening over at Hot Village, which technically, you know, is saying that's Hot Village, as before anyone could say anything, also just bolts to basically Hot Village, which you know, everyone else is just like, what the? <laughs> you know, just says, <sighs> I should have expected this from Asta, as you know, he does fly off too. As the Silver Eagles captain is just like, I, 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 I didn't even give them orders. <sighs> Forget it. He just saying to himself, just like Yami sometimes. Why? <sighs> so he just looks at Noel and be like, your mem and your black bull member likes to jump into problems, doesn't he? Which she just kind of says, sort of. In which, well, her basically silver eagles kind of just sighs again. So they do go and pass Hot Village while Asta and you know are going going to Hot Village to. Protect them. The same guy who's attacking Hodge Village. Well, I really don't have to say nothing because of, well, I mean, Asta blitz towards Hodge Village. Just imagine him in basically fire, you know, covering his body, and well, with a little bit of anti magic. Well, technically, yeah, his flames became anti magic, so. Yeah, imagine just that happening. Black flames are going towards um, the guy, which the one of the kids from the orphanage was running at, was about you know run at him with fire magic, as the guy is saying, <laughs> "Prepare to die," you know, human, because I remember he was possessed by an elf. So yeah, as. Before he even has a plant going on attack, and Sister Lily, you know, and the father, well, the father's secondly knocked out with poison, they hear just, well, the sound of something, you know, like a roar, a roar is happening. Because the, the guy who's basically controlling the plant with his magic is just like, huh? As all of a sudden, boom, you know, they just. Everyone just sees an explosion with basically the guy with the, I mean, the guy who's possessed by an elf basically is knocked out with a fist in his face covered in 
you know, his, well, fist that's covered in black flames, you know, in his face and knocked out. As everyone is kind of shocked because they don't know who it is because of the smoke. And they kind of see when you get to see from, you know, fairy tale with Natsu and I think any Dragon Slayer is like red eyes. So they're kind of, you know, scared a little bit until they see it's Asta. So they all say Asta as, you know, just comes by if you, and just saying like, you went overboard. She's like, he ain't dead. I think kind of post the guy with his foot as uh, you, you just hear a groan. Uh, so he goes, not dead. Which, you know, just sighs. So, basically, Asta and Yuno go over towards, well, basically, Sister Lily, the kids. And before that, Asta looks at the kid who was running with, you know, flames in his hand. He goes, <laughs> good job to protect, you know, to protect your family. I think that's what he said in canon. So, eh, just but what he says in canon Basically, as the kid just smiles and nods. So, also does find out about his new sword that basically dispels magic. I mean, it does give, you know, it does have a large amount of anti magic in it, but the thing is, though, since technically he kind of merged, I remember correctly, so. He totally can't handle it. And he does find out what it does. He also does cure the guy who was basically being controlled by the elf. That's all well and done. He saves everyone in Ha's village. And him and you know basically just says they're going back to the, well, the Clover Kingdom. And going to figure out what's going on and prevent anything like this happening. And they just tell him to be safe. Basically. Sister Lily and the kids and all that, even the father. And basically, he's when they leave, the father of the orphanage, of the church, basically says, <laughs> They grow up so fast. Which Sister Lily does not. And basically, she says, I can't believe basically they grew up so strong this quickly. It hasn't even been that long. Which. Based on the power or not. So we do have, you know, you know, and also going to the cap, well, the Clover Kingdom, and capital basically, and the whole entire luck. And give me a minute. I knew I was forgotten something. Okay. So as I was saying, so they were on their way, and let's just say this. Also say so. I kind of think that guy acted. Well, he said something about humans before I smashed my fist into him, and which you know, just looking at Asa when on the way to the Clover Kingdom capital, he's like, "Wait, how good is your hearing?" And he goes, "Pretty good." He's like, "I forget about that sometimes." He was like, "Eh, it happens." But anyways. And then the magical circle, before I dispelled it, he became normal. Do you think something's wrong with them? In which, you know, it does look at him like, maybe. Hmm. There's only, I mean, this could be not just one person. This could be all over. I mean, the other magic knights were, you know, acting weird. So maybe it's exactly the same thing that happened to them. Like it happened to that guy. So... How about we split off? He goes, which also does nod. And let's just... And basically, before they even do that, they see, like, electric, like, beams of light hidden in the distance. So, basically, you know, says, you go that way because, well, your lightning magic, which is still BS. He goes, what? Uh, how is it BS? He goes, like, you just got it out of nowhere. He's like... True, 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 okay. And then basically, you know, says, I'll go this way and try to, well, gain it, try to free any other magic knights. And try to get them back on our side. Which he does not. Well, Asta does. And so they split off. So let's just say this the same fight was going on with Locked, Vanessa, and Magma until Asta gets there. So, right when Asta, you know, gets there, 
he basically lands on top of a building. He sees Luft. He goes, Luft, what's wrong with you? And then he basically Luft sees him. He goes like, <laughs> just another human. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you just run? Doesn't matter if you are now. Because I'm going to end you. Which then also just looking at Luft, he sees the markings. And he can tell already that his, magic, his mana is well higher than usual. He go, which then he literally says to him, he goes like, so, who are you? Because you are clearly not my friend. Or my comrade. Which he says, it doesn't matter who I am. Basically, and also kind of just tombs him out because of just kind of just bad guy monologue. And he's like, uh, are you done? Which he's like, you didn't hear what I said. He's like, Nah, just after he said it, doesn't matter who I am, I just saw you kept on talking. Kind of no offense, I've been dealing with people who just talk a lot and monologue about what they're going to do before they get their butt kicked. So, I'm just going to end this fight pretty quickly and get my friend back. Alright? And then basically his fist gets covered in fire, which... The, the basically the elf is looking at him in shock because his, his grimoire's not out. He goes, how can you use magic without your grimoire? He goes, doesn't matter. I mean, you never heard of it. You never heard of this magic, so it's not like you know you ever would find out. Which he goes, ha, try me. He was like, uh, dragon slayer magic. He was like, uh, wait, huh? I never heard of that magic before. And I've been around since... Basically, the years the elves were around before they died. Which... Technically, Asta, Vanessa, and Magma just looking at him. Which then Asta goes like, Huh. So, whatever's wrong with you, you think you are been around for that time? Since the age of the magic... Well, the first wizard king. Alright. So... Also, basically, just gets covered in fire and just launches himself towards Lot as Lot, you know, does launch. Well, technically, the elf, of yeah, possessing Lot, basically launches electric, you know, electric magic at Asta as Asta just punches right through them. And which, technically, he's kind of shocked by this. And Asta just grins. He goes, like, sorry, but your magic doesn't work on me. As, you know, he keeps trying to shoot Asta out long distance, as an Asta just says, you know, just says, Roar of Dragon, and just launches, you know, fire breath at, basically, the elf. Which he dodges, and goes like, Okay, you can bring fire! Ugh! I didn't know human, you know, human's magic could be this powerful! So, he kind of ramps up more magic, because he's getting more angry, you know, the, basically... At Asta, and, you know, his hatred's going up. So, kind of goes on for a little bit. You know, Asta keeps dodging attacks. Keeps, you know, getting... Basically bursts himself with speed more. And gets a few hits in, you know. Fists of Dragon, Tail of Dragon, Wings of Dragon. Until... He gets pissed off enough and says... Okay, if I can't kill you with one attack... I'll destroy this whole entire town with this attack! Basically, he jumps up to the air, has a whole big giant ball of light, of, you know, lightning magic, and launches it down towards the village. Now, everyone's running. Magma and Vanessa are just, like, shocked by this. As the elf is laughing, as Asta just grins, he just jumps up into the air, you know, stopping it. But, basically, the elf... Elf look just, you know, basically laughing, saying, You can't do nothing! You'll die! As he just hears the sound of something like, a, you know, you're drinking through a straw. And he goes, Wait, what's that sound? As in, Asta basically is basically eating the lightning ball. Well, well yeah. Yeah, lightning ball. As the elf look just in shock. As in, all of a sudden, as soon as when the ball was getting smaller and then, you know, stops, he basically, you know, says, Thanks for the meal! <laughs> Feels like my magic's been recharged! As then, all of a sudden, you know, he activates lightning magic, 
God Slayer. Well, Lightning, God Slayer, well, God Dragon Slayer magic. As Elf looks like, what the? Two, two magic elements? How? How is that? You know, no hatred, just pure shock, stuttering, doesn't know what's happened. As, let's just say this. Basically, imagine the twin dragon. I, you know, twin dragons. I forgot their names, but they were shadow dragon and the light dragon, basically. And they were doing the combination attack, and then you know, Natsu basically would do the explosion phoenix. Yeah, and just imagine that move. What us? I mean, not us. Natsu was doing from fairy tale, and basically he just you know, us just grinning. Basically, fire all around him with lightning, and he just says, Dragon Sacred Art! And does, you know, a Phoenix Fire Explosion. Basically. Because I did see, I'm just, but with electricity around it and such. As the elf look doesn't know what the heck was going on or what happened, and boom, you know, the tank hits him and blows up. So, Loth is falling down. Well, basically, the elf Loth is falling down. Asa does land, runs over to him. And Loth, but basically, the elf Loth is just like, Oh, I can't be defeated. I can't, I can't, I can't. You know, basically, the whole entire kind of breakdown and, you know, the magical circle underneath him. And then, you know, about to go crazy. Until Asta takes out the sword that would. Get rid of the magic circle and free. Well, happens. And the whole time thing with luck will happen. So, Magma, Vanessa are basically glad to see luck's fine. Hasa just says, <laughs> glad to see you're back. So, how have you been? <laughs> Which luck just kind of goes, my body hurts, but I'm fine. That fight was really good. <laughs> I I don't want to fight no more with you. It hurts too much. Why then Asta just kind of goes like, <laughs> sorry. So, after that, we do have them, you know, look again back to normal very quickly. I would say Vanessa had some way of helping Lock to heal. So, they, I want to say they go to the Magic Capital. Well, I mean, not Magic Capital. Clover Kingdom Capital, you know, when... The, Everything's happening. So where a house happens beside that's not with Asta happens. So the whole entire castle, the shadow castle, reverse castle, whatever you want to say, um, does happen. It's already there. Um, Figolion already awakened with Salamander at his side. Um, you know his magical arm. Basically, um. Napoleon? Hold up. Okay, I had to make sure something was... Okay, I knew... I had to make sure, like I was saying about, uh... The name. I was getting it wrong. I knew... I knew from the name it wasn't rightfully... Leopold. And Fagolion. Oh my god, I... Uh, I kind of read... I read her name, and I knew I was not getting it right, because it's been so long. Megaliona? Ah, butcher the name, have hard pronouncing it. Been a while, I'm not going to try reading the name again, but just know, yeah, just all that will happen. And we do have technically Asta when they get there to the, ma I mean, to the capital of Clover Kingdom. He was like, okay, so Magic Knights mm, running amok, there's a castle here, and uh, uh, how the heck do we get in there? And, well, this is technically when I believe, you know, hmm, technically when you know tech did technically save a lot more match knights and have them, like, you know, get to the capital. And he says, I don't know, Asta, which technically Asta looks behind. He sees, you know, you know, with all these information knights. He goes like, okay, that spear form really is awesome. But, uh, okay. So, 
Besides that, do you know how we get into this castle? Which she says, nope. Which then all of a sudden, Nero lands on his head. And she basically doesn't say nothing. I really she did not say nothing in canon. Eh, freak it. She goes like, I know a way. Which she goes like, huh? Really, Nero? Which everyone just like look at him and the bird. She just basically flies down and turns to her human form. And which... Uh, wait, there was a... What was his name again? No, he has magical portals. Hold up. Okay, so, basically, Fenro is like, is there? He goes like, wait, Nero was a girl? All this time? I, 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 wait. And she's, wait, how is this even possible? Which Nero just says, no time to explain. And which also goes like, okay, so, can you tell me? How do you know why? She goes, well, I need all the magical stones plus a neck plus the necklace, and we need to go to the well back to Hot Village, which she's like, huh? I was just there not that long ago. She goes, there's a specific reason. When she goes like, okay, what? Which look? What's the reason? We need to go on top of the head. He goes like, oh. Okay. What do you mean by a we? You mean she just points to, you know. Okay, um, hold on. Yeah, she just points to the fin roll. And she just says. I know he wasn't there, but let's just say this, you know, did find him and woke him up. So, yeah. Basically, uh, fin roll's like, wait, me? She goes, yes. And maybe someone else. But right now. Since if you know can use his spirit magic, well, yeah, his spirit wind magic, he probably can cut, cut open a portal. Or at least have a portal happen. Which, he was like, wow, uh, thanks Nero. So, you know, think you could do that? Which the spirit and, you, you know, just nod. So, basically they open up the portal and... They do get the people who went into the portal to the into the castle happens like in canon. Now though, Charmy's fight would happen like sooner with the art captain basically that's being possessed. And I want to say everything will go from there with canon because I don't see anything else changing. Now, the fight with the world demon, lit and the whole entire magic. I mean, the Wizard King does happen a little bit early now because I made Fenrir been there early. So yeah, their fight did happen. Lex was fighting the Word Demon, and then basically somewhere after Asta and Mimosa were going into the castle looking for any way or looking for anything slash someone. Just to get answers or w understand what's going on. We do then have the first Wizard King fighting by side with Lit, the Word Demon. Now, this is technically when Asta Mimosa gets in. But it's just... Asta is like... Just punches through a wall. I just see it with this one. And so... He goes... I mean... He heard of fighting... By, you know, putting his head against a wall. And then he just tells Mosa, There's fine over here. She was like, wait, don't tell me you're going to. He, you know, he does smile. And then he punches the wall. And goes like, and basically, well, since it's just a big, you know, boom. Everyone who was in the fight just stops. And they see just Asta just grinning, walking for the smoke. As Mimosa just shaking her head. So, he does look up. He goes like, huh. Uh, who are you? Because it's the world, the word double. So, basically he's just like, another insect. <laughs> well, 
at least entertain me for a bit. And so, basically he says the swords, as in multiple swords are going down towards Asta and Mimosa. Basically Lit as I mean, Lit and the wizard, the first wizard king are about to go over, as in all of a sudden, basically Asta just uses his, you know, fire just to cover around them, as basically, um, the... His anti magic demon, I mean, you know, devil is with him. So, it, you know, it's basically showing the actual swords and the magic swords. And he goes, Hey, is this one of those creatures you hate so much? Which basically hears the word, Yeah. Let's try to kill him as quickly as possible. If you can basically alternate, have anything he says come true, we don't, we don't know what's the limitations of it. Which also does agree. So, what happens is very simple. After the fire dissipates, the world devil was shot by this. And then he goes, oh, interesting. Black flames. <laughs> i never seen anything like this. Which the first wizard king, you know, is looking at Asta. <laughs> he goes, remarkable. That the new age of wiz magic knights are truly, well, are truly remarkable. Which luck just not. I mean, not luck, lick. So, basically, Asa just tells him also to, well, take cover. He will handle this. So, what happens is simple. His grimoire floats up as the Demon Slayer sword comes out of the grimoire. As, well, Lit is kind of. If I remember correctly, Lit would not, you know, was not fully awake. He was technically asleep. So, he would be shot by that, even the first wizard king. As then, basically, all of a sudden, well, we do have then, you know, you know coming in. He goes, sorry, am I late? He goes, nah, you're just on time. Which then, you know, is looking, he was like, okay, what's, he goes, I don't know. Well, I don't really know much, so, all we gotta do is take it down pretty quickly. Which technically you know goes like, uh, okay. I mean why? He was like, because it's because the guy's dangerous. I know he wasn't like this in canon, but I'm kinda of just like you just wanna make him be like if you just if someone runs into a battle, you kinda of see you need to take it down and you kinda of see, you know, what you saw in, if you seen that you know, the world devil in the anime and you just like wonder what the heck is it? It's a dangerous and all I have many questions. So, kind of just making you know have that for like a few minutes until Asa just says, Dangerous, have to take it down, could probably harm a lot of people. Which then, you know, you know would not. So, they do get try to fight it. Asta is, you know, basically using fire to launch himself. He's not trying to use the dragon force and, you know, sprout his wings just yet. Because, you know, to kind of trans, you know, kind of go into, kind of based off the the transformation of the dragon, and it looked like N because of the, because of his combination of his demon, well, basically his kind of you know demon un union, you, yeah, whatever his, but he has a transformation, you know, in canon at the moment, before you know the manga. Later on. But anyways. So he's just. Using his physical strength. To you know. Jumping around. Like jump around. Onto a wall. Jump off. Launching himself with fire. You know. Sw trying to swing down. While. He basically is. Using. Word. You know. Just saying words by. Shields. As Asta. You know. Coast the sword and fire. Cutting it. The shield into two. Was the word demons shot but amused. So this goes on for a little bit. And they're making some progress. And you know. The word demon. The word demon is still playing with them. Until Asta. Does you know. Start using anti-magic as. What happens to Asta. Is, like he gets this little mark all the way up to his eye. You know. And it glows red. He gets a horn. He's not, you know, activating the Dragon Force just yet. 
So he does fly over to the world devil, and he does technically get a scratch on him when you know you know did try to basically hit him with a wind magic, which he did block. So it was by a surprise attack. So the world demon kind of chuckles and then into a maniacal laughter and just starts saying, you know, I can't believe I let my guard down just for a split second. <laughs> now, <laughs> I'm mad. So, he starts to conjure up, like, you know, what he would do in canon. So, and this one, technically, the wizard, the first wizard king and lich would technically get them out of the way, and they would do their thing, until Asta and Yuno would get their new power-up with the sword, you know, you know, makes his one sword while Asta, you know, gets his anti magic covering the Demon Slayer sword. And it extends its length, and, you know. So. Which. Again, the whole entire first. Wizard. I mean, yeah. First Wizard King and Lich are even more impressed because their diability is, and growth is quickly. As then, you know, just says, so, you know, you know, use that formula? He goes, not yet. I don't know, I don't know, basically, if he can dispel it with some of it, your attacks. Remember? I mean, like some of your attacks, but he does not. So, the same thing will happen until the whole entire thing where he basically has portals open and this goop that basically erases magic happens. And Asta would tell him to get launched into it, but it would just burn away. Which, that kind of shocks the world devil, I mean the word devil. And, he was impossible! How is that even possible? Which, Asta goes like, I don't know, but I'm still alive! <laughs> you know, I think he said that in canon, like, he's still alive. So, yeah. Anyways. After that, unknown to Asta, his fairy tale symbol, chain, well, well technically, trinket, um, something to, you know, remember, to understand that, you know, he has a person in another dimension as a brother because of Igneal. So it's not soup, basically, a reminder. As that is glowing, as Asta does not know this, but we do technically have, you know, Natsu hearing it. He's wondering why is this happening? You know, why is he hearing his voice again? And so we do technically have, you know, him de like looking back from, well, Happy is like, you know, saying, Natsu, what's wrong? As when. Happy's looking, he's seeing a boy with a horn, they say one red eye, and a sword in hand that's on fire, you know, flying towards this creature to them, and, you know, firing it off as Natsu says, wait, that that's the guy I was talking about, Happy. As Happy goes like, I thought you were crazy. And he goes, wait, what? You know I don't lie to you about this stuff. And he's like, yeah, I know, I'm sorry. He was like, it doesn't matter now. But why is this, as in all of a sudden, well, he here, this technically would say this kind of like the time skip where Natsu went to train in. So I want to say like somewhere in like in the middle of the episode. I mean, and when the time skip happened. Like afterwards, like maybe a week or two after the time skip, so... You know, Natsu already has a tattoo, if you guys don't know, I'm sorry, but yeah, Natsu already has basically overpowered stuff already. So, he does hear Igneo saying, Natsu! <laughs> Which, he goes, wait, Igneo? Which, Happy's like, it's a ghost! Basically, you know, I technically say Happy freaking out. And he goes, and he says... Do not worry, Natsu. You'll... Yeah, you'll see what you need to do. As he goes, huh? As then we just hear, well, 
the world devil basically say enough of this as he does trying to launch this you know this uh purplish goop i forgot what it was called based on the stuff that asta is not affected by at you know as asta does you know dash in front of it and he says roar of dragon and you know he shoots fire out of his mouth and you know destroying it the world devil has to dodge out of the way which asta and happy saint that's Dragon Slayer magic! To which, in basically the ghost of Igneo saying, Help out your brother. He needs it. Which, secondly, not to. Wait, brother, I don't. <sighs> Alright, Igneo, I hear ya. But how am I going to get there? As basically. Asta just like keeps firing on. The trinket is. Uh, Basically, the M, the trinket of fairy tale symbol is glowing brighter. With Natsu, everything around them is glowing brighter until poof, they're gone. As then, well, the world devil basically launches sword at Asta as fire covers him until the world devil says the spell, as it dispels Asta's magic, and he's like, oh crud, as basically multiple. Swords are coming at him as he's about to, you know, activate, like, you know, try to swing. As then the world of it says bind, as Asta's, you know, can't move. So, basically, you know, is trying to go towards Asta. The first Wizard King is, you know, doing exactly the same while it is, you know, going towards the world devil, trying to, you know, kill him. And all they hear is just saying, Whoa. Ugh, sorry. And all they hear is just saying, War of Dragon! As in fire, you know, being shot down, goes towards those swords that are about to hit Asa and get totally destroyed. Which everyone's shocked. And basically, I want to say a little bit of a platform is there. As you know, basically, he land, which Asa was on when he, you know, was basically about to jump off it and. Technically, after he basically got rid of all the swords. So, when Natsu lands, Happy goes like, Why are we here? Which, Asu goes like, A talking cat? Everyone's kind of surprised by that. The world devil's just like, Wait, how? What's going on? Even I'm confused. <laughs> this was not part of my plan. And so, Asa just looking at Natsu. He goes, Wait. You're that guy who's watching me fight against Luxus. And which Asta, I mean, after Asta say that, basically Natsu grins. He goes, yo, little bro, what's up? Which Asta goes like, uh, huh? Wait, oh, wait, yeah, you're, you're eating those kid, right? Which he goes, uh-huh. He goes... Which then Asta's like, how do you even get here? So, like, right in the middle of the fight, they're having this conversation. Like, Yuno's confused. The, the face of the world devil is confused. Look. I mean, not look. Lich is just like. Doesn't care. So he tries to attack the world devil. The world devil, you know, snaps out of it, you know, uses a shield after he creates it to block the attack. The uh, first Wizard King's like, right, fight! So basically, they uh, try to kill it. I was just, you know, just looking at, you know, basically this weird guy with pink hair talking to Asta like they're longtime friends. As then, Asta's like, I don't know how I got here, but, huh? Why is that glowing? Which then, technically, Asta looks at the. You know the trinket that but that was like the fairy tale symbol, basically that he had around his wrist. So, you know, bracelet basically. And he's like, uh, oh yeah, and you know, told me to for this always to remember I have family in another dimension. <laughs> I didn't know I can summon you here with it. <laughs> Sorry, which not not to just ch laughs at that, and then he's like. Hey, don't be sorry. What's family do? I mean, what's a family that doesn't help out their well, well, relative? 
So, needs want me to help? He goes like, yeah. By the way, can you use Dragon Force? He goes like, a little bit. He's like, cool, because we're gonna need we're gonna need the help taking down this. Well, taking down him before anything bad happens, which he you know does not. So, Natsu and Asa going through the Dragon Force, but with just Asta, it's his. Basically, horns grow off, uh, you know, on his head and back. Basically, combination, you know, anti magic combination with Dragon Force, so wings. Which not just like, wait, you, you, you go into Dragon Form? He's like, oh no, just a combination of Dragon Force and anti magic. He's like, talk later then, right? So basically, tag team, Asta. And Natsu just jump forward. Basically, they say they say fist of well, dragon fists. I or drag uh, fire dragon iron fist. And they basically the world devil turn around just to get punch in it. And well, then Asta using fire along with anti magic on the sword cuts off the one of the world devil's arms, which he does screwing out pain as Natsu yells out. You know, Roar of Dragon basically hitting the fu- the World Devil, basically hurting him somehow, due to the heat, basically. And as he's again, how is this even possible? It seems like this other insect is stronger than the one with this... What? What's even going on here anyways? So, yeah, it's just tail, you know, Wing of Dragon, Tail of Dragon, just back and forth. Basically, you know, he's using his wind sword, you know, striking him too. As well, we technically do have the anti devil. I'm, I know his name by now, I'm just not gonna, you know, say it. Basically, saying, Asta, we don't have a little bit of time with anti magic left. You should end this. Which he does not, he does think, yeah. So, basically. The whole entire thing where Natsu's about to hit the world devil, you know, and finally end the world devil's, the world, not world, word, word, word devil. I don't know what I'm saying, world. Ah, word devil. It's basically about to hit him until he, he says repel. You know what I'm saying? I'm fine. As Natsu, you know, says, Asta! And basically he says, Water hitting Asta with water and Asta Natsu sent him flying as Natsu does get happy helping him out as Asta you know gets his balance as Tinley anti magic mode ends and now it's just wings on his back with scales basically and he goes crud which Technically, Nero does come, and she goes, what happened? He goes, like, I ran out of magic. Well, I ran out of time in, the, in that form, in which she technically says she can use her magic, and she does use her magic, like, in canon to unlock or lock, I think. You know, to give him extra time. And so, when he goes back into a form... You know, Natsu basically says Dragon Sacred no, you know, Fire Dragon Secret Art um, Spearhorn and launches himself into the World Devil. I mean, Word Devil and, you know, hits him. Basically, he gets him flying. Then, you know, basically coming out using wind magic and, you know, make a slash cut in him. As then all of a sudden, for Blitz's speed, they just see, you know, Asta. Just coming in out of nowhere. About to, like, to go and hit the word devil the word devil again until he's about to say something and with Yami. Yami does his exactly the same thing he does in canon. Basically, he goes mono zone execution and he cuts through basically everything in its way 
until he gets to the world devil, word devil. You know, splitting him as Asta, you know, sees this, you know, shocked and not knowing what's happening. And so, he basically thinks, I mean, basically, the anti magic devil and Asta say, No! So they basically they put, you know, basically fire sh- shoots from Asta's feet, makes him propel even faster. And so, the last minute, the world. The word devil sees basically Asta cutting him into two, cutting his heart, and well, you, you kind of know what happens. Anti magic devil telling him, you know, saying he, you know, he lost and mocking him, and he d- dies basically. So Natsu goes like. Okay, that was a little bit tiring, but fun. As not basically, Asta just says, oh, "Thanks, Natsu." So, how are you gonna get back home? He's like, mm, "Good question. I don't know." Before you know, Asta and him kind of laugh. All of a sudden, the tr- the fairy tale symbol trinket starts glowing. As Natsu goes, like, "I guess that's how." Well, it was fun knowing you. And I hopefully we can talk again. See ya. As basically all of a sudden not soon happy glow and they're gone. And the entire castle is, you know, basically being destroyed and collapsing. So that does ha- all happen. Now, they do get out and Asta is in a lot of pain afterwards, but hey, he basically is used to it by now. Doesn't like it, but he's used to it. And so, if I remember correctly, it's the trial. So, everything from there would technically go from canon. With Asta helping out people in the Magic Knight, I mean, with the Magic Knights in the capital, and the judge. Basically, it's. He's basically. Doing everything, like, doing what he said he would do in canon, and so. <clears throat> I'm trying to, I haven't, I went past that episode, it's just I'm trying to remember what happens. Yeah, if I remember correctly, if the king that be attacked, then the judge, you know, saves him. And then, you know, him, basically... Talking about Asta and such, and they're gonna try to put the blame on him. So I want to say everything goes from canon, even with the guy. You know, basically talking to Asta about him, saying "Help me over here" and stuff. But the thing is, I'm gonna say Asta looks at Nero, and he basically says, "I have a bad feeling about this." She does saying, "Yeah." Me too. And he basically he's like, well, this is going to be something. Which he does not and saying, let's get this over with. He goes, yep, it's a trap. I know that much. <sighs> at least this, at least, hmm, I get to see what it's like. With what? He goes like, how the nobles will, you know, think of me. Whereas, you know, they're walking and talking before they get into the building. She was like, what do you mean? He was like, I have power that, you know, that's basically unknown. So, fear. I think. Or just jealousy. What she does, you know, just nods. So, when they get inside the building, you know, Asa gets cuffs on him along with Nero. And, you know, He's like, huh? You know, pretending like he didn't know. So they go do go up to the trial room. As we do technically have the judge. Um, give me a minute, let me find his name. Okay, I'm going to mess up this guy's name, but just know I can only probably say the last name right. So, da, damn, you know, damn, Nichin, damn, Nichin, um, 
and then it's Kira. Basically, he has scales, and basically his magic can make something powerful or weaker with it. And that's how he judges people. I have I have really am troubles with saying his name. I think I can get the spawn right. Just give me a minute. Okay, so D A M N A I T I O N. Akira. I think that I look back and I kind of was just trying to spell really fast. I might messed up, but anyways, him basically in front saying about we are basically you know putting Asta on you know on trial, and it gives him about being you know a speech and such about him basically going against other magic knights who basically were, was possessed with a weird sword that was able to dispel magic and such, and that they even talk about how he went into a form with the final fight. Just to kind of add stuff to. I mean just to make more to have this trial. Just for plot reason. And us just, just like. Okay so. I'll be on trial. To save. That, that because I saved the, well, the kingdom. And. It's just because. You. Basically, are blaming me for what happened. I'm getting that right, because that's what I remember. Because if he said about the devils, they said devils do not exist, and blah blah blah. Basically, he. Basically, he's just saying you are a risk to the kingdom. You basically will destroy it, and you are a devil, basically. As Asta legit, in this one, I don't see, I do see them technically bringing out, um, what's her name again? Be well, technically, not Gosh. Hold up. Okay, so yeah, it was Gosh and basically his sister's Marie. Yeah, I just want to make sure. So, basically, I don't, I do see them, you know, about to bring out Marie, you know, her, you know, basically being killed, you know, was about to be killed before... Before Asa you know, goes in and saves her. But in this case. I do not see that happening. Because Asa just sighs. And just. Legit. Just saying like. You know. I. I can. I really can't understand. Basically, you would. Kill someone. That was technically innocent. Even though it was someone that was possessing, you know. Oh yeah, I did forget about the whole entire lich saving everyone that was basically possessed by an elf. Then going on to the afterlife and, you know, someone gets a new body and that person gets another body. And, yeah, that. I forgot about that. So, okay. Okay. So, basically, as Asta just says, about the whole entire elves possessing other people's bodies and such. And yet... For some reason, you won't blame me. <sighs> and all of a sudden, the cuffs are just melting off his hands. Which everyone's just shocked by as Kira's like looking at Asta with an impassive face. As he was like, Besides, you're not gonna harm Marie. So, hmm, how do I say this right? Oh. Yeah, as all of a sudden his fist gets covered in fire, as then he punches the ground his feet was, you know, on, as all of a sudden it, you know, it has multiple cracks, go all the way up into the ceiling, which all the nobles are looking at Asta with shock, and he goes, if you want to try to have every magic knight to fight me, bring it on, because I'm not going to go down without a fight, as he's just looking at Kira, just, you know, glaring at him. And I know this, the, you know, I know from Ken the guy is cruel and just wants to protect the Clover Kingdom. He's looking at Asta now as then two guys in robes have their magic out, like, you know, and try and use magic, say it's just some fire and earth magic. 
as Asta basically punches the earth magic, grabs the fire magic, and just, you know, eats it right in front of everyone. As that, you know, shocks all the nobles, including the king. Even Kira, a little. Besides Fogolion and... Nez, I mean, nah, the yeah. The Silver Eagles captain. Nozel? Yeah. Took me a while to remember his name. As they're just thinking, is he an idiot? As... Nero's just thinking, okay, I know he has a hot temper, but... <laughs> Murray's not here. Uh, it's basically one of the guys that was in the robes comes out, you know, with Marie holding her, you know, with a knife pointing to her neck. As he goes, stop, or she'll die! Basically, you know, not shout, you know, he shouts it. As Natsu, not Natsu, Asa looks at him and glares. As he goes, <laughs> you won't do nothing now, would you? As he literally just looks at Marie, he looks like, hey, close your eyes for a minute, okay? She does not. He goes, <laughs> what? Basically, you're going to move and she'll die, basically. So, as you're just telling her that everything's going to be fine, he goes, oh, I just don't want to see what's going to happen to you. But she's like, huh? As then basically, everyone was kind of, like, basically, curious, kind of curious. As then all of a sudden, I want to say, technically, Asta, you know, gets fire and lightning covering his body, but he has... You know, control over lightning. So, oh, that I gave. I knew I, I knew from a video I picked, technically gave him that. So, all of a sudden, the lightning just covered his, like, after the fire and lightning started to activate, all of a sudden, the, you know, lightning is just around him. He was like, okay, like I did with the lightning beforehand. And so, he blitzes towards the guy faster than the guy can see, and. You know, I'm talking about, like, before he controlled it. So, he kind of took the page from Luck. So, yeah. He just makes his body move faster than the guy can see him. And he punches him with an electric fist into the face. And him flying and catches Marie. And, basically, he, you know, gets back over to Nero. Wait. Nero? Eh. I probably got that wrong, but I, I'm been saying it. I'm probably saying it wrong. Anyways, and he does technically stop using lightning and the red lightning, and basically puts his hand over the cuffs on her wrists and melts it. And he does give her Marie. He goes, "Hold on to her for me," which you know she does not. So everyone is like, all the nobles are scared, including the cane. As then basically Kira, you know, comes down and he says, I will have order. You know, basically the scale goes down. You know, Anasta just looking at him. He was like, what's that supposed to do? As then basically his flames are on fire. You know, just a normal fire. But, you know, then he just like sees the crown like weaker. But then he, which, you know, every noble is kind of smiling at this until Asta's flames go black. As all of a sudden, you know, they're just back to normal. Which, you know, Kira raises his eyebrows for that. As basically, before, you know, Asa could do anything else. All of a sudden, the Black Bull's base, that was turned to a bull, punches through the wall. As then, well, everyone from the... is there. Basically, every person in the Black Bull's... Is there basically, and Yami says, "Oi, you start the pa party without us." His officer just grins. He goes, "Eh, I mean, well, technically they had Marie here, so I think Ghost would well kill me if I didn't try to save her." In which Tickling Yuma just says, "You basically threatened for every magic knight to come at you. You basically took down two people. Then another person was holding her, and he goes like." Details, details. It was Ghost is just like looking at Marie and asks, Are you okay, Marie? And she goes, I'm fine. And well, Kira is like basically tilts the seal again as everyone's magic is getting weaker until Asta, you know, takes out the sword and absorbs all the mag, well, dispels the magic, makes their magic go back to normal. 
As then Asta, you know, just looking at him, goes like, "You really want to execute me that bad? Because you well have to have a scapegoat and actually not believe a devil was the mastermind behind everything." Which is devils do not exist. Blah blah blah. Yada yada yada. I'm not gonna go through all that speech. And then Asta just sighs and be like, ah, "You have your beliefs." And your justice. Well, let me guess. If you want me, if I want to live, if I have to prove myself, then, or I have to face you in combat and die. In which, before he even says anything, uh, yeah, technically, I'm gonna still have off to be on the, you know, with the whole entire tracker and such, with you know, on his wrist just to prove that doubles exist, because of, you know. Kind of plot reason, but yeah, but technically, right when Fagolion and Nozel come down, they do give the scroll to him, and well, he does, Kira does sigh and look at Asa and be like, Well, <sighs> looks like you technically have to take that option from what the info I gather now. Well, the info I was given. He goes, okay. So to prove my innocence, I have to prove to you devils assist. I mean, he technically, the thing he said so, he was like, so, uh, should I tell them about you? He was like, no, not yet. But I suppose, you know, that devils assist to him, and then, well, we go from there. I like, gotcha. So, after technically that... He says, you know, does put the sword back in his book, and he goes like, well, alright, I'll take that option. I'll prove to you devils exist, and try not to get executed. Which he does not. So basically, the whole entire stuff would happen the same way. You know, he gets a bracelet, and tell him they'd be leaving, and the whole entire travel thing will go on, I believe. So... I'm going to leave it off here. I'll try to get the next part done. If that is the last part before the time skip. Okay. Um, sorry if it wasn't really that good. It's just a lot's been going on. And I tried to think of where I wanted to go with the story in this part. And I probably need to start not to stress out. I think... I mean, it has not been stressful, but it just kind of feels that way in my head. And it's technically hot. It's been getting... It's summer now, I think. So... It sucks without EC, too. Anyways, I hope you guys have a nice night, day, wherever you are. This is going to be coming out, and yeah. Bye, everyone.